Hey everyone, Andy from Markdown here, and today we're going to go over advanced line crossing detection and some extra configuration that's not available in the NVR that we can find in the camera. So go ahead and open up a web browser, go to your NVR, and log in. Once you're logged in, go to configuration across the top. And then on the left hand side, we're going to find the camera and the event the line crossing event that we want to configure. Um, so we're going to go to Smart Event and Line Crossing. Uh, the camera we're working on is Channel 1, the Dart. Uh, so now that we know that, uh, we do have to turn on a setting called Virtual Host to get to the camera. To turn on Virtual Host, we're going to go to Network on the left hand side. And then we're going to go to Advanced Settings, Other, and then check a the box that says enable virtual host and hit save. After we have enabled virtual host, we're going to go to system and camera management. And now we see these blue hyperlinks on the right. We can click those to get into the camera. And here's channel one, the dart that we wanted to edit. Alright, so let's log into the camera. Should have the same password as the NVR. And once we're logged into the camera, we we'll go to configuration. And on the left hand side, we're going to go to event and smart event. And here we have our line cr and then our line crossing event. So now that we're here it looks almost identical to the recorder's interface for configuring this event. The only difference is that there's a max size and min size button down here to draw in on the picture. Um, that's going to set the max and min size of the green boxes that have to cross the line to trigger an event. So we would just click the max size and say, you know, something that big can, anything bigger than that, we don't want it to trigger it. All right, and then we set the min size, so we click it, and then we draw a minimum size. And we might say, well, we need something at least, you know, this big to trigger it. And then we hit save. Those are, you know, pretty, there's those two advanced settings, and then we can get a little more advanced with smart events in the recorder, and we can do a couple extra things that we can't do with a motion event. So. This is the only thing extra um, on the event that you're going to find in the camera that you won't find on the NVR. So now we're going to switch over to the NVR and uh, go over the linkage actions that you can do uh, with a smart event, or in particular this line crossing event. So we're at this line crossing uh, event here, and we're going to go to linkage methods. And we can see here that we have our normal stuff that I've covered a few times in a couple other videos. These are all pretty straightforward. Um, and so is the alarm output and trigger channel. But smart events uh, give us PTZ linking, and that can be uh, particularly good to use in certain situations where we, or you could have a fixed camera uh, watching a driveway or something of that sort. And when the line crossing event happens, the PTZ calls a preset. So in this case, we could tell a camera say I want this PTZ to call preset 10. I mean, you could even have it run a patrol or you could have it do a pattern uh, but the smart events sometimes allow for a couple extra things like PTZ linking and then you have your standard stuff over here. Uh, so once again this is Andy with Arcdyne just covering the line crossing event. Remember that we used virtual host we, when we enabled that from the other menu then we went to system camera management, use the blue hyperlink, and then we, after that we logged in, and then we looked at the smart event, and we were able to draw a minimum and a maximum size uh, to trigger this line crossing event. Uh, thanks for watching, have a good day everyone.